bloke's side, you know, with Archie coming on board. Do they have anything against that? So it's a little bit of an upset. Who knows as we hop onto the pitch, DFH Stadium to start us off, Jay. And past the five rules, as is case for the group stage. It's run by Tally and Orange, top blokes in blue. And already you can see Alpha looking to take control. Okay. You thought for a minute that would have been a fantastic dribble play just to kick things off on the right foot, but not to be for Vitality. Back up in the defensive half as top blokes try to generate their own striking opportunities. They, they get forced back to that blue half. There was flame contest midfield. Cassio's rotated back. That ball off the ceiling could have been dangerous, but it is turned away by the defensive. Very fast game coming out off the back of the kickoff in this one, Bacon. So um, uh, both squads not messing around, it seems. Yeah, if you bought that top blokes might have had a little bit of advantage from playing on both Monday and Tuesday. You'd be wrong as Renault Vitality come out looking very dominant, but I'm liking these follow-up attacks from both Casio and Flame there. I have to see what Alpha would do as he takes this to the corner very nicely. The follow-up's coming through from Kadok. It's wicked fast, but Therapy not in the greatest position. It's an interesting start as both teams are really just going all out in these early stages, Jay. Guns are blazing for the first minute, but neither side able to score an opening goal. It's very incredibly pushed up into the uh, top bloke's half at the moment. Passed down into the box is going to get turned away by Cassio. Flame going to try chase it downfield, but he's uh, out of boost there. Flame going to go for some of the uh, midfield hundreds and unable to make that work for him. The pass from Archie, uh, from Cassio to Archie, I should say. We're going to connect to a clear either, so Vitality can continue to uh, apply the pressure here. A couple of returns to the orange half, but Kadop's not going to let that uh, go very far. Neither is Alpha as the challenges from the midfield are successful for top blokes. The pinch is in, combining again for the clear away. Is Flame going to try and return, but other than these quick clears, no real big effect. Defensive touches coming out. Alpha mean wild. Oh. Trying to look for the double taps. Almost forced an own goal, but not to be. Yeah, it's interesting there how Vitality slowed the game down by taking aerial routes and waiting for a moment to catch top blokes off guard. And you saw Alpha so close to getting that one on target with the drop down. But unfortunately, not to be there to go back to the drawing board. Loving that this is still nil nil at the halfway mark. That ball sent back downfield though is dangerous. Archie's got to take that to the left. And Renault Vitality getting closer to the net than top blokes are. This pass from Flame to Cassio is going to come in a little bit too far back in the case of Cassio. Alpha over to Kadok looking for a strike down. He gets it off the defensive textbook passing play and opening on the board for Vitality. Beautiful stuff here. Brilliant pass from Alpha keeping the follow up. Really pulls into question. The top blokes' defences, they have got two lads going for that ball. K-Dot will be the one to finally get that touch and executes wonderfully. What a redirect by the lad. Just past the halfway mark, Vitality getting the opening goal. But top blokes seem like they can throw a good response downfield, especially hits like that a little bit faster. And of course, Alpha wouldn't have been able to get the touch onto it. The top blokes just need to find that one little slip up in the Vitality defence. I think uh, not quite from Archie, very big able to adjust against that ball. Caleb off the backboard, going to leave it for the midfield player to go for the strike. But you can see how top blokes are getting dangerously close to the uh, orange back line. Cassio there with a receiver, puts that away from Caleb's position. Midfield challenge continuing from Vitality and top blokes. Alpha going to generate a chance here for a double tap. He's way too far in position, but a slight touch from Kadok will put it close again. Very big. Setting up Alpha for the knockdown down chance. He's unable to beat out Cassio. Demoing from Flame will take out very big chance as well. Passing into his teammates. Kadok's going to intercept and Cassio will receive and clear. But the pressure coming in from Vitality continues to keep top blokes back in their own box and never breaking out of the blue half. Yeah, and it's obvious just by the amount of boost. You can see on either side, top blokes really under pressure. Vitality, quite comfortable to hold that midfield line. Archie just got a massive boost pick up there to be able to keep driving. And if he can now stay downfield, this would be wonderful. But that follow-up hit from Alpha down to Kadon is just going to put the nail on the coffin. One minute left, 2-0 up. Vitality are not turning up to play today, Jay. They're turning up to win. Uh, link ups between these two perfectly placed in the last two goals and uh, a big 2-0 as you mentioned. Possibly a winning 2-0 as well with 60 seconds to the clock. Recoverable but difficult here from top blokes. And Cassio's got to pull something out of the hat here with this dribble play using his flip and missing his touch. 
Alpha to take control. Archie passed back into Flame. Flame's gonna try and contest off the backboard here. He's got no boost though, and uh, Top Lokes, maybe one of the issues that they've uh, had when it comes to getting the offensive in the uh, orange half has been a lack of boost. Defensive now struggling as Vitality continue the pressure. Kadoff out. Challenge again by Fairy People. Put it off to the backboard. Demo in from Cassio. Opens up a bit of a line in. A chance to generate here to the corner, but none of it's going to come out. Kadoff just gets one good touch in, and Alpha goes for the musty flick, but can't quite land on the shot itself. It's Cassio over to Alpha again. Going to have off the backboard one more time, but no shots connecting from Renault Vitality. The pressure is there, and that will be enough for them. Ten seconds left, the top blokes are two goals down. Unless they can return this goal right here when they get a free kickoff, they're going to be out of game one here in our best of five. Yeah, double demo definitely just stopping that in its tracks. Very peak, and Kadoff keeping the ball up. You see it there, down to earth, get this done and dust it. Game one over, let's look towards game number two as Vitality turn up, Jay, and I'm gonna say, look near perfect there. 2-0 might not be for many people the perfect game, you know, because you'd be thinking, oh, that should be a 5-0, that should be like a Brazil, a 7-1, but Vitality don't play that way. They were just pressuring top blokes through and through to the point that top blokes, earlier on, when I said there was that perfect boost pickup by Cassio where he should have been able to sweep. No, everyone had gone downfield. And so top blokes just got easily scored on because they had no one in the back lines and Vitality sort of lulled, pulled them into a full sense of hope. It's just such an interesting game right now because vitality are just dictating everything absolutely they were and you could just see it from the stats right there their possession their dominance was all right on par there for the vitality side and the link ups again between kadop and alpha they were just absolutely perfect like you know we often we oftentimes praised alpha as a striker back when he was on uh, fc barcelona and savage before that but he was really adapted to a more supportive element and it's worked wonders for ni vitality they don't need to change their stars they don't need to change their fundamentals right now they've got some very capable players and you could see how capable they were right there in that in that first game you know again a couple chances being uh, come, uh, coming to fruition here for the top bloke, but they weren't able to capitalize, they weren't able to go past that hurdle. And it will be a tough slog to get back into the series from here for that blue side of the court. It's Vitality kicking things off over to the corner. Already Alpha setting up Kadok for a decent shot. It's just disrupted by Archie, so won't be allowed early on. Very big challenges, Cassio. Challenges Flame as well. Cassio gives a bump in. Alpha back over to the box. Just defended by the last blue player of top blokes here. Kadop still trying to generate an opportunity for Alpha. The recovery chance being denied here by the defensive of the top blokes. Kaplan, 30 seconds into this one, they have been pressured. And Archie has done brilliant to link up with Flame downfield. That should buy some time for Cassio in the back lines to be able to get in place and they can hopefully now with a bit of boost, work out a counter-attack. Archie with such a powerful Ooh. hit, but that is not enough to beat away the last man. Top blokes try, they look good, but it just is it, not good enough. Vitality looking massive today, Jay. Very quick to adjust to that pass out on the defense. Officially ready to the shot to the target. Alpha are going to keep that one high, but that might fall into the hands of Cassio. Infield pass to Archie, trying to beat his man, but I think the challenge was just good enough there for Fairy Peak to throw it off Kilter. And now Kadok follows suit on a quick counter-attack. Flame going to have to rotate back as his teammates set up. Decent touch in, it's way too slow though, and there's no second player to strike back and put it in the back of the net. Cassio moving up now, no boost for him, so best he can do is the backboard. Archie passing back towards Flame, but Flame inaccurate back to Archie though. Controls in, sets up Cassio! And it goes off the crossbar. Top bloke struggled and struggled, but they finally get it past the line. Cassio, brilliant pick up on Archie here. He had to follow through. If he did not get the touch, he would have bounced on out. And just have to say here, you can see the difference between top blokes and Vitality. Top blokes have to just persevere, continuously push the envelope. Vitality might hold that midfield line. So you got really what? close. What a response from Alpha! Yeah, he was playing supportive in that last game, but already he's had enough of shot bloke shenanigans. Double tap, as textbook as it gets, no defensive. That was beautifully played.
And again, that's the even standing of Vitality, not letting top blokes get so far away with this one. A couple of good shots coming off the kickoff, though. Cassio, Archie sets it up, point blank, but no position here from the top bloke side. Very big looking at push this out of position, and Archie's going to continue the pressure off the backboard to the crossbar. Flame coming in, big miss from his defensive line. Archie comes up with a decent shot, but just barely defended again by Alpha here. Vitality, now they're the ones being pressured, and they're the ones struggling in the defense. Yeah, but they've got the reactions to pull it off there. You saw it in the last second, very big being able to turn around and get onto it. And again, off of that wall, being able to send it off wide. And that's everything with Vitality. They use their whip, sending it down to the corners for a second man to follow onto. Great blocks coming out here as well. And you can see the smother effect follow on through. Alpha's going to be able to pick this up. He's directly going to the bat ball, past the defenders, drops it on down. And no one from top blokes can get a touch on it. You can just see the difference when it comes to the handling of the ball and the positioning of the Vitality players compared to top blokes. And that second touch just to get back on target and gain the lead here for Renault Vitality. Alpha with both of the goals so far for his team. Just past half time as well. Top blokes back on the back foot and now they're struggling to get touches in. Alpha, okay. Every time he gets up close, I just worry that something bad is going to happen for top blokes. Set oh, up coming out from Fairy Peak. Oh, absolutely he is. Just absolutely crazy to see. And that's like, you know, no discredit to Kadoff and Fairy Peak. They're playing so well themselves. But you'll notice this with Vitality and with most teams in Rocky, there's always that one star player, the MVP of each match. And so far today, it's definitely been Alpha. On Flame trying to set something up for Cassio. Archer's got to rotate back to the defensive because here comes Kadoff looking to find his chance on the net. Alpha off the backboard, leaving it for Fairy Peak now for his own duck down chance. Denied by Archie. Follow suit from Kadop, and Archie's in the perfect position with enough boost to get back out to the corner. Follow suit from Alpha goes into the corner play of his own right. Challenges successfully, but Flames touches just enough to throw it off of the angle. Going way too far wide. Fairy Peak to recover off the corner play. Archie going to get challenged by Kadop again. Pushing into the midfield, Cassio now with the dribble downfield. Beats out one. Second player should be easy to do the defensive here. And Vitality from this corner. Alpha's got his 100 boost. He's got another dribble play, potentially a bump coming through against Flame. But Flame out of position and it and Cassio and Flame on the defensive line. Again, out to the midfield pass out. Archie going to come forward into open space, but that ball goes way too far into orange territory. So no shot from top blokes. Archie will still try and recover one. Pushed off to the right-hand side here. These interceptions coming through from top blokes are going to be massive because they need to try and force themselves in deep whilst keeping a man back in defense just for a bit of safety. So they're bringing it really close on in, trying to go for these 50-50s. You can see this little change up has got them down to the goal line. But they just cannot get it over yet. Time's ticking, only one goal to recover this time. You can see the interception from Caleb. We're going to take away the setup and return to a fantastic shot with a big commitment from the top blokes. That will leave no one in defensive and a two goal lead for Vitality. Yeah, this was just a little bit of oversight. Castro pushing a little bit far. And he needed to stay back, and that hurts, Jay, because it's just a little slip up. When you're playing up against Vitality, you've got to be playing at your best. You've got to crank all those knobs up to 11, and it is draining. It runs down your batteries, runs down your boost tank there. And you can definitely see that over on the top blokes' end. Vitality just always have that one up over them. And just brilliant performance all on the board here for Renault Vitality. Game two going their way, and while it looked like it was going to be a close contest there from the outset, like, it, when they turned on the switch, they did not stop there. Alpha, again, deservedly the MVP of this one. Because, hmm. again, he's popped off today, as you mentioned, just from a supportive role and a striking role. It looks fantastic. Yeah, and we'll notice here as well, a big change up within the stats. Top Blokes really did turn it up here in game number two, just straight up from ball possession to field domination to even boost consumption, where boost consumption was massive back in game one, where Vitality was stopping them from picking up anything. Here, Top Blokes have got control of the macro game by 
taken back a lot of the control of the field. But when it just comes down to the nuance of Rocket League, control over the ball and what you're doing with it, making those touches so effective, Vitality still have that and have it in spades, Jay. And straight away, you can look at the difference in number of ball touches. Alpha there with 53 was taking so many these tiny little hits to be able to get such great control of it and really put the ball in the back of the net as a final touch. Absolutely. I mean, like, you know, we can sing his praises all day, to be honest, but like Vitality right now, they're playing on a completely different level to where top blokes are at. And this is my main fear coming out of the qualifying stage is the fact that, yes, they looked impressive against the likes of Singularity and Endpoint, but they uh, unfortunately, ha you know, those guys aren't quite on the same sort of level as Renault Vitality. You know, this three-man mm -hmm. core are world champions, so it's always going to be a tough graph for this team. And top blokes may be feeling that heart here in our first series of the day. Game three. They're going to need to uh, find fifth gear if they want a chance at taking a reverse sweep. See already Vitality having Ferry Peak pushed up alongside Kayla to try and get the first shot in. Flames going to hold a defensive as Alpha comes forward to support it. Pass out of field. Ferry Peak will just get back to Kayla. And they're going to play keepaways from top blokes in the early game. It leads to a lot of pressure to this blue half. Again, Alpha off the backboard. Can't connect his second tap. That's fine for the top blokes defense. No, and Archie here taking it in close to himself. I love that little throw towards Nair at the end. But notice that gives so much time for his teammates to try and pick up some boost. And now they're going to work as a line. As a double at to get downfield, I'm a little bit worried about Flame then not being able to predict the ball correctly itself as teammate. But Archie does hold off once again. This is an interesting new development. Cassio really cheated our field when normally he stays so far back here, Jay. Unexpected, clearly, not only for me, but Vitality as well. First for the top blokes. But they look a little bit uh, well, scrappy. I thought some of the touches weren't accounting for every position from the top bloke's side, so. Could be seeing some more awkward times from this offensive line. We've got Archie up here towards this corner play off the backboard for Cassio for a dunk down chance. A bit too high. Third man, nowhere to be seen. Flame will come forward, try pass out towards Archie. A boomer of a shot, but it's too high and too wide again. The top blokes, they can work these all they want to, but have got a lead at this moment. Vitality have to be the ones that pressure them in that blue half. So a, a slight little bit of a consolation prize in that respect. They don't have to be 100% accurate. Either way, from this midfield, they will move forward. Alpha charging against Flame will put it out towards Kadok now. So he takes it downfield. Great ball control beats Archie. Backboard into open space. But Cassio takes that open space, makes his way back downfield once again. Yeah, and this is an interesting one as well. Top looks seem to have a read on the ley lines of Vitality. Their predictions are well on point. But Vitality can change that. They've still got three minutes. So they can probably change up to a plan B or plan C strat right now. You can definitely see these quick follow-up attacks. But notice the breakaway's not quick enough from Top Lokes. That needs to be punished. All three members were basically at the net and Top Lokes weren't able to get the ball way quick enough. They were almost there, but the uh, pacing is not quite on point. Down to the midfield so far is when Renault Vitality took control, and now they've had ball possession since that point. A couple of back and forth here between the defensive lines of both sides. Flame with a back pass using the underside of his car. Archie moving in against Alpha, takes that challenge. Right on target, Flame's got to back him up instead of back up for Archie again. Cassio coming forward here with ball control. Trying to beat everybody, sets that up for a teammate. Too far out position, Flame can try and recover this to try and allow the third man to go for the strike, but it's pushed back in the midfield again, and Alpha with a chase downfield here against Cassio. Cassio gets that out, and now Ferry Peak and Kadok in the control in the defensive, keep it away from the offensive line of top blokes. And now return back, it's all left to Cassio. Pass out, baits him in, but Flame is there to support. Fortunately enough, the rotation's a bit better from top blokes, and they can continue to try, uh, try strike here in the orange half. Yeah, good direction from Ferry Peak as well there. Not sending it back to the corner, but mixing things up, turning it down towards the middle. Good stuff from top blokes to read it, but again, not being able to play it within their realm of control. Archie going for a pinch there as well is quite interesting because he's just thrown and handing the ball over the vitality. So you can see at those moments that top blokes are trying to then gain ground control, try and, you know, take control over that boost and just hand over the ball for the moment, say, you know, you focus on that, we'll take control of this. 
and it's a good idea. You can see it's getting working, but they do just need to find a way to get into the back of the net. Accuracy is the only thing right now that's hurting top blokes. No open net, flame into Archie, sets it up, and the position is perfect there. A big commitment from Vitality. They weren't accounting for what Flame was going to do here. You can see it, it all pushed so far as the midfield line. Once that ball was set up from Flame, it was all over. 2-0. And now a definitive lead gained by the top blokes. A minute and ten to the clock in Vitality. They look to concede this one unless they find a really, really big turnaround. Archie and Cassio will try to deny that. They're placing this ball into awkward positions, which does throw off Vitality for a little bit, but it throws off top blokes more. Trying for Ferry Peak pass at the K dot. Good play in off the ceiling off the backboard. Archie there to receive it. 100 boost over the back line though. Alpha looking for his double tap in towards Ferry Peak. Next out, a light touch that allows Archie to clear. And again, they've gone heavily aggressive on this one. The ball is thrown off of angle, therefore, they can rotate back into the midfield. Return to the blue half. Good defense from Cassio. Is that clear? Could have gone pretty dangerous. Alpha with a follow up touch here in the offensive half. And they're going to continue the pressure outside of the box. Flame and Archie on a breakaway. Archie going to rotate back because again Kadop and Alpha look to try and take control Castillo gets it past them here and the gaps in the defense are opening up a vitality so while it might not come to effect here in game three anymore it's an opportunity in a position that top blokes could uh, exploit going into game four it's an interesting one because Vitality have gone really over aggressive here in game number three and it's costing them they're a team that needs to work out defense oh, good read by flame straight to him and he just Seem to know ahead of time he's got a crystal ball or something to pick up on that. But yeah, Vitality is strange. They're a team that needs to work out from the defense and then use brilliant build-ups. But today they just seem to want to get downfield, like throw it downfield and then chase up and see what happens from there. It's just an odd, odd scenario from them. And I don't expect that going into game number four. Yeah, it, it certainly was, um, it definitely looked like a similar kind of game, you know, I mean, even from the stats line, it's pretty balanced in terms of the way that you know, things looked before, you know, they even had more possession, they just about had uh, a little bit less field dominance, uh, you know, the boost consumption was a little bit better from uh, from the top blokes, which does indicate to me that maybe they're starting to pick up some of those pads a little bit more, the smaller ones, and of course, mm -hmm. getting control of the bigger ones, like I saw some challenges where they were able to reach the midfield pads a, a bit more efficiently than Renault Vitality, um, so in, in that respect, they could be getting a little bit more control, um, uh, the offensive still looks a little bit touch and go for me. Again, I'm not quite 100% sold that they have the correct synergy that top blokes need at the moment. It's a weird one. So they're using a lot more width. Again, like I said, they're getting a lot of their goals from being less predictable with half rotations coming on in. So it's sort of thrown Vitality a little bit off. But then also a lot of their strength in that game comes from Vitality changing up. Maybe using this game as a tester. They're 2-0 up. So like, okay, we'll use a great little practice game. Try out this new strat that they've got, which is basically full send into attack. Didn't work. So coming to game four, they go right back to the old strats and be able to turn it back on his head. Flame's got a good little advantage there, but really needed a second man to follow up. And naturally, of course, Alpha was able to read that easily. Cassio and Fairy Peak challenging off the start of the kickoff. Flame to the backboard, and Caleb's got that no worry. It's Fairy with the issues here. Lack of boost, but still controlling, getting so much as a shot in on that one. Good touches. Cassio is the man to take it away here. Alpha holding midfield. Archie gets that demo out. It will be returned by Caleb off to the uh, blue side corner. Flame out. Fairy Peak up again to challenge this man and try to keep the uh, aggression going for the orange half. A couple of returns still coming through out from the top blokes. They have on themselves on their own for the moment here. And it feels like a bit more of a stalemate locked out in the early minute. Yeah, and it's all down to top blokes trying to come on in for a lot of 50-50s. Vitality looking to want to play with a lot more space. So the 50-50s aren't necessarily hurting them. They're just really not thinking about it. Oh, crossbar just saving Vitality there. Skin of their teeth stuff. Look at Alpha, though. Not quite against Cassio. That could have had a lot of potential in that play, but the uh, last second... Uh, Defensive from a top bloke, able to control it and almost return the post this time.
time being the savior of the orange half of the field. Flame Nicasio back in a flame. Oh, a passing player is denied by Fairy Peak this time. And Top Smoke's really schooling up in the offensive half. They will get driven back to the box here. But the returns coming through to the midfield, followed up by the challenges. Look at Archie. He's got Flame to anchor him. Gets it off the backboard. Kalok takes that away. Third man of Cassio will not commit. He'll just hold that ahead of midfield line and try and keep ball possession for Top Blokes. And you can see Vitality are respecting Top Blokes right now. They know the power that they can put behind the ball to the point where three players from Vitality are in there ready to cover all angles and then looking to explode from that Saba counter. It's an odd strat. Whoa! Wow. Oh! Oh! Good read, Cassio. Just holding the defense. Kade up there with the recovery play. It went off the crossbar. He was so ready for that as well. Alpha still looking what? for his chances. Archie on the defense. And Cassio still being the brick wall in the back line. Not allowing anything to go even past the line here for the blue half defensive. And now he's going to try it, play it aggressor as he gets out to the midfield. Fairy Peak going to challenge it. It goes back over to that corner and Kadoff will look to hold a defense. Flame back into the pass, out to open space. Down from Top Blokes is there. They're back on the defense. They're reading where Rano Vitality are going to clear and trying to find Boomers of their own right. Alpha challenged Archie Cassio to return to the orange corner. Two minutes, Kadoff with a miss, but it is slow enough for Fairy Peak to adjust against it. Flame coming in off the backboard again. Alpha's there to hold it here. Yeah, and you notice Alpha has been doing so many of these aerial dribbles where he's wanting to keep the ball close in for himself so that if someone does come to contest, it's a 50-50. But it also drives the ball downfield. So again, that his teammates can then get in position. Alpha here is wanting Fairy Peak and Kadok to hold up that midfield line. He's wanting to play from that mid. Whereas Kadok and Fairy Peak are very odd at the moment. Their communication seems to be a little bit all over the place and they're not quite sure they're not on the same page being able to pull off effective team plays right now. Okay, up with the dribble plays here and what is that both from teams have been laboured under the, uh, it seems like, as you mentioned, no team plays, more solo plays from each squad. No goals scored as a result of it. We're a little over a minute to go as well. Vitality. Well, that's only feeling the hurt the top blokes are putting up on this one. I feel like they've been at the advantage when it comes to the uh, striking and defensive forces. 60 seconds to the clock. Alpha, a little bit of boost challenged again by the defense. Archie now off that corner, looking for a way back in. We'll go out to orange space. It's very peak, contesting against Flame, out to the open position as well. And there's just nobody really in any sort of angle to take these sort of challenges or passes. Caleb okay, will get it past one, and again, it's Archie in the defensive line. Awkward back pass though. This could be exploitable by Fairy Peak. Setting it up for Alpha. Puts it back in for Kadop, but Kadop's out position. And now Cassio goes back downfield again. Vitality doing a better job at returning to the blue half though. Over to the corner now. Cassio looking for his own control. Fairy Peak back on Archie. Looking to boom it downfield. And indeed he will be able to do so. Follow suit with a touch that takes it above the defensive line. Alpha Beating out Flame, Cassio in the midfield, able to challenge successfully. Back into Flame now for a chance to try down. Backboard play taken away by the last defender. Archie up to the air. Kadok takes it away to the blue half. Bumps out, not going to work to try and throw off the defensive rotation. Flame just has it under his wing of the backboard on the floor. We're in overtime. The problem there with Vitality, even though they look like they were the strongest side, being able to get on a lot of attack. They're only sending one man after the other. Top blokes are good enough defensively to be able to hold it off. And it meant that, yes, Vitality are able to keep up a lot of pressure, but they're not doing anything with it. They're getting nowhere close to being able to get a goal. Top blokes, I could see them just keeping this up and then getting one big breakaway goal when there is one little slip up and that OT is all going to be down to one mistake here. Archie going to contest in the midfield, move up with no boost, setting up for Flame here for the strike. A good challenge from Kadop takes that away. And they've really picked up the offensive here in the overtime. 36 seconds and it's been all top blokes. Fairy Peak trying to change that. Flame takes it away, the 100 boost is stolen by Fairy Peak, putting that ball back out to the right hand side of the field. Kadop with a dribble play, beats out one. Cassio puts it back on. Archie to take control now, here with his own solo efforts. It is denied by Fairy Peak at the backboard. And now Alpha to take control in the offensive line. Beating out two. Kadop on, off the crossbar. Wow. Just denied by Cassio. Again, being the defensive god for top blokes. The shots continue to return for Renault Vitality, though. And they can't quite seem to go past that final hurdle. The return ball back. Again, big commitment. Backline missed. Oh, but Cassio misses the double.
double tap. Oh, because Casio is not going to expect K Dog to miss on that. So, of course, it's a late reaction. Unfortunately, couldn't get it on target. Vitality almost seemingly frazzled. Top blokes are right on in their minds. And this up and down play from them is so peculiar, so uncharacteristic of Vitality. This is a chance stuck down here for Cassio, but Alpha still in the bat line. A absolute set of screamers coming in from both sides as they return to the blue half. Cade upset up, Archie not in position. Cassio got to thin this. He somehow faced the double tap. And very peak misses as well. Alpha back on. Finally finishes the job. Finally finishes the series for Renault Vitality. Yeah, unfortunate miss there from Flamey for your position in Fairy Peak was going to get the touch and he needed to get the block. Naturally, you go in for that, expecting your opponent to hit the ball. And where it was just left to linger, he was able to be put away in the end by Alpha. Top blokes, feel bad for them. But, Jay, of course, it is a double elimination bracket here in the group stages. So that's not the last we've seen of them. Vitality? A oh, weird, weird scenario. After coming out of the gates, absolutely kicking and screaming, looking brilliant and dominating. I think they look got into their own heads. Look at the save count for Cassio. Six saves. Absolutely mm -hmm. ridiculous for the lad. Like, he just popped off in that defensive. And again, he was probably the reason why they were able to hold off against most of those goals in the first place. Like, top blokes probably took a contention that we weren't expecting to see from them here. Like, especially after that first game where it was like, okay, Renault Vitality are going to play around with these guys for a little bit. The adjustments were really there. And you mentioned that double elimination bracket. Top blokes, they've established themselves with a really good chance here. They really have, and like I said, three teams from each group goes through. Only one team gets knocked out, so it's a case of win one game and you're safe into the playoffs. I'm looking at the opposite end of this bracket, Jay, and going towards BDS and Liquid and saying, if you're not on your A game today, top players could steal a spot away from you because naturally, BDS and Liquid are coming in as higher seeds to this tournament, and... We'll see in the next series on stream how they're playing today, but top blokes are looking ready to go through to the playoffs. We may well go through to the playoffs. Yeah, we'll have to find out a little bit later on today whether or not they can make it happen. For now, Vitality moving on to our winners matchup, and it's back over to Jam and the boys over on the desk. Actually, it's going to be us on the desk here in a moment's time <laughs> after we go to this very short break. The so boys. don't go anywhere. You get to see more of our ugly faces after this.